Hey friendlies, I'm Carolyn. Welcome back to my life. Living in an RV, traveling, and showing you real life along the way. So my step has been broken for a while, as you guys know. So today I'm gonna to talk to you specifically about the step, I'm going to talk to you about the troubleshooting that I've done and the solution that I've come up with. You guys might be surprised at the solution that I have come up with for my step. It's a really cool little trick. So uh, we're gonna talk about that, so stay tuned. But before I do that, there's a couple things. Number one, stay tuned till the end to find out who the winner was of the Waggle Pet Monitor. And also, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I had so many calendar orders after the last video talking about the calendar. As I said in that video, I did an initial poll before I placed an order for the calendars to get an idea of how many of you would buy calendars and we've only sold about half of what I expected to sell based on that poll and a lot of you jumped right on and we sold 30 maybe I think that day so thank you thank you thank you we're a little bit closer to the number that I thought we would sell so that I don't have to carry around an inventory of 100 extra uh, calendars along the way so if you haven't ordered your 2022 Carolyn's RV Life adventure calendar do it now we're sending out batches every week we're sending out a batch this week of the people who ordered all the way up till yesterday and we'll be sending out another batch in a week the holiday are over they're they're hopefully getting delivered a lot faster so it's a beautiful calendar people are loving it it's high quality paper it's high quality printing I chose some of the best photos from my travels to help you maybe remember some of the fun times along the way and maybe give you something to dream about if you're thinking about your future of travel and living on the road so please order your calendars I still have quite a bit left so Place your order today and you'll get yours pretty soon. And I'll put a link in the video description below. And uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody who has ordered already. So let's talk about my step now, okay? Okay, so my RV step stopped working the day I fixed my refrigerator door because that's just how I roll. <laughs> so it just it just stopped coming out. And some of you are like, didn't it break a year ago or so? It broke a while ago, but that was just because I smashed it when I ran over a rock. And so it wouldn't push out because it was all bent. And I fixed that with a hammer. I just pounded stuff back into place. And it's been working fine ever since. And it's an automatic step. So it works either with the magnet on the door here uh, so that when my door swings open if it's on on it'll cl close and open depending on the door the position of the door but it'll also open and close with the ignition on the key and uh, with the key ignition so it runs on the the truck battery in case you're wondering and neither one is working or or was working so the first thing i did was check the fuses you know it runs on a fuse box that's up here in this compartment for everything in the truck part of the of the rv and there's nothing wrong with the fuse i checked to see if it was loose i checked the fuse there's nothing wrong with the fuse that was the first thing i checked the second thing I checked was the magnet, or maybe the first thing I checked was the magnet. So the magnet is here on the door. You're going to be able to see from this. Oh, yes, you can. So there's a magnet here on the door. I checked that just to make sure it was clean. And there's a, see, there's a, another one here. I just to make sure it was clean and there was nothing obstructing it. So, and that looked fine. The next thing I did is I crawled underneath my RV and checked the wiring. It goes through wiring protectors wire protectors and then it, it, i didn't get under there and inspect every inch of it because i couldn't and i was like yeah okay even if i find something it's just not my area of expertise let's put it that way but from what i could see this much of the wire and where it goes everything seems to be intact and it seems to be fine so let me say again i checked the fuse i checked the fuse i checked the fuse yes i checked the fuse <laughs> Just read the comments if you wonder why I'm going off like this. I checked the fuse and you guys are going to be funny and say, did you check the fuse? I checked the fuse. But so here's the thing. So it didn't work for weeks. And then all of a sudden it worked one day and it worked for several days. It worked for quite a while. And I was like, okay, whatever. And then it stopped working again. And then it worked again. So I think it might be a loose wire. One of the things that I keep meaning to do is look at the, uh, clean the battery terminals on my truck battery. That it, I feel like if it was a dirty battery terminal, I'd be seeing issues somewhere else. But I've been doing a little research about 
what could cause this. You know, the, I could also go under there and see where I'm losing power. You know, am I losing power? I think I would assume I'm losing power from the battery to the step motor. That's what I'm assuming. So it's not the motor because it's, it works sometimes. So the motor is not burnt out, which is also what I, when I went under there and looked the first time and it wasn't working, that's what, what I assumed. The motor's just burned out, but it's not because it works. It's also not an obstruction with the step because I don't hear the motor at all. The motor isn't working at all. I think I, it's gotta be a loose wire, right? So this is me. This is what looking for advice sounds like. What do you think it might be? Uh, I, I think it's a loose wire. And I would like to hear anybody who ha is, you know, good with electrical stuff and fixing stuff, what your thoughts might be on this. Because I've done some research. I know I should get under there with my multimeter and check to see where I'm losing power from the battery to the step. I don't know if I care that much, to be honest with you. I don't know. Maybe someday I'll do it. Anyway, let me show you what I'm doing. I'm pretty ingenious, if you ask me. So I looked for alternatives to the step. I looked for work steps. I looked for steps. And there are some options. If you Google RV step replacement, there are some options, but they're very expensive. And so I was looking for stools. I was looking for like step ladders. The problem was most of what I saw was too short. So a couple of you sent me a, a metal platform that's like this wide and it folds. Ideally, I get something that folds, right? I don't want something big and bulky. But the problem with those folding platforms, most of them that I saw, they were only like nine inches tall. I need something at least 13 inches. 13 inches is what this stool is. And it ideally, I think it would probably be 16 inches, which would be best for me. I also found a great solution on Uline. It was a big, bulky, plastic step. It was big. And I was like, okay, you know what? When I get someplace where I know I'm going to be, I'm going to go ahead and order that. Even though it's big and bulky and I'll have to store it inside when I'm traveling, this looks like a great solution. So that's what I'm going to do. But then it dawned on me, I have something already that kind of looks like that. So this is what I did. Wow. You ready? Yeah. What do you think of that? Yep. I already had something that's very similar to some of the steps that I saw. I've got Legos, basically. I bought these not too long ago when I was having all the problems with my tires. I wanted the longer levelers. These are the tire levelers. And I bought two sets. And I harp, I never use all of them. I wanted to have two sets in case I ever needed to go that high on both sides, which is very rare. So the good news is... I have a lot of extra of these that I carry around with me. And look what I did. I made a step out of them. They're like Legos, but look at what I did. I want to show you a trick that I did to make it extra stable for me coming in and out. Okay, so here they are. There's two of these blocks. What I could do is just pile up pile up one block, right? I could just keep piling it up piling it up, right? But one block that high isn't going to be very stable. And especially if the ground isn't that level, you know, that's, that's going to be wobbly, right? That's too wobbly, especially for stepping in and out. So here's the trick. Here's what you do. You see? All right. Lay one this way. And then go the other way. Then if you want, you can do it again. So that you have another step, depending on how high you want your step to go. And then your your last one, you just build on that last one. There she is. Hey, good girl. I 
there you have it. How easy is that? And you build a step with stuff that you can have multi-use for. There's nothing worse to me than living in a tiny space and having all this stuff that only has one use. I would rather be able to multi-purpose everything that I have. Of course, it's not possible to multi-purpose everything. But why buy a big bulky step or even a fold-up step that I'm only going to have one use for. Sure, a lot of you are asking, you know, well, what about when you need to use those to level out your rig? Well, that's when I use this, <laughs> which this is 13 inches high. This works, but I don't think it's sturdy enough to use all the time. And the nice thing about this is this is also multi-use. I use this inside to reach things when I'm cleaning. I use it in the back if uh, I have to get up on the ladder. I usually need an extra step or it helps to have an extra step. So this is multi, also multi-purpose. So for right now, this is what I'm using, especially since it seems to work sometimes. Maybe it'll start working again someday and it won't quit. So why rush out and buy something else? So buy some of these if you need a step. These things are awesome and you can also use them to level out your RV when you need. So I'm going to put links to these uh, in my Amazon store in the video description so that you can check them out too and get yours. But for me right now, this is the best solution to my step issue. So yeah, not bad, huh? We're solving problems. I'm problem solving. So life is good. And I want to thank Waggle Pet Monitor for sponsoring today's video. Thanks to sponsors like Waggle Pet Monitor, I'm able to keep bringing you videos on a regular basis every two videos every week. So the Waggle Pet Monitor is an awesome device that helps you have peace of mind knowing that your pet is safe when you have to leave them inside your RV. So it's really good to have in both hot and cold weather because when you you have this device and sign up for the subscription service on the app, you can find out in real time if your pet is in danger in your RV because temps get too hot or too cold or if your power goes out. So this little device stays inside the RV. It works on its own Verizon 4G signal, so you don't have to have Verizon. You can use whatever service you use on your phone. And this little device with its 4G signal by Verizon will talk to the app that you download on your phone so that you can check no matter where you are. You can be in the middle of dinner and you can be like, hmm, what's going on with Sadie inside my RV? And you can look at the app. You can just pull it up anytime and say, oh, it's 68 degrees in there. And the humidity is 73%. And the heat index is 68 degrees. And you can set alerts so that this, this measures the temperature and you can set an alert, okay, send me a text or an email when it gets too hot or too cold so that I can cut whatever I'm doing short and get back to my pet. So this is a wonderful device for any pet parent who likes to travel with their dog or cat or lives full time in a vehicle. I think this is a must have. And Waggle Pet Monitor is offering my viewers 50% off when you when you order before tomorrow. 50% off, but you have to order by tomorrow using discount code SADIE50 using the link in the video description. And finally, this year, Waggle gave away a free pet monitor to one lucky winner. And that winner is Cindy Navarez. And Cindy has already been notified by email that she is the winner of a Waggle pet monitor. So thank you, Waggle, for sponsoring this video. Thank all of you for watching me, for sharing my videos, for giving me the thumbs up, for subscribing. It takes a village to keep this channel going. And I want to thank each and every one of you for everything you do to help keep this channel alive. I will see you next time. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. I'll see you soon.